a city which has big heart and a big role to play towards india's economy a city which has always maintained the pride of being the financial capital of india yes we are talking about amchi mumbai the heart of maharashtra and one of the pillars of india which has a history of being an epicenter of connecting india now how is our mumbai doing at 75 now if we talk about good governance in which what we have achieved and what not in terms of good governance with this we will take you to the discussion on the governance chronicles organized by mumbai first where the presence of former municipal commissioner bmc mr praveen pardeshi dr himanshu burte associate professor iit former chief secretary government of maharashtra mr r m prem kumar mr shailesh hari bhakti chairman hari bhakti and associates along with other dignitaries were present to discuss the facts of effective good governance like the proper implementation of the 74th constitutional amendment which talks about the basic framework of decentralization of powers and authorities to the municipal bodies at different levels and how slum rehabilitation through 3d print technology could play a vital role so with this come let's take you to the conference and in one to one interaction with the dignitaries have a big business like mumbai what its uh, spirit is we need to be a positive we trust in decision making processes and then stick to the decision making Uh, whether it is a single person who is elected is possible, or whether it is a general body, which is called assembly body, it's the lateral, multiple, uninformed intrusions in the decision making process which has pulled Mumbai back. when we talk about governance and governance is a broad topic when we see mumbai so what changes have you seen in this 75 years in terms of governance governance is becoming more decentralized and that is the aspiration of mumbai cars has been and will continue to be so therefore the power has to devolve down to the lowest possible unit of decision making and therefore i had recommended today that we could think in terms of a digital autonomous organization with governance tokens if you have governance tokens you just do it electronically and that's the way to go forward we live in a democratic country and there is a procedure of election and there is elected leader so uh, considering these facts what changes are we seeing in the near future we need immediately a tenured appointment and term limits nobody should make it a embedded investment to be in a position of leadership it has to be a position of service dealing with the current situation what are the qualities which are needed in a corporator to get the things done and what is the ideal corporator from your side person which has only three qualities one integrity of the highest order two transparency and three accountability these three qualities are what every corporator in mumbai must possess Mumbai first has taken this initiative that after 75 years where the Mumbai is going how Mumbai is still a powerhouse or not uh, taking every fact into consideration what do you think about the governance after 75 years i wouldn't really you know i don't just cut some arbitrary date and say 75 years i think we have a much longer history of being a municipal corporation and that has been very important because many ways of doing things many ways of managing the city there's a longer kind of institutional uh, expertise and uh, memory that has come in so we have that long experience is very very important that is one foundation of mumbai's strength mumbai is, is well known to be among the better governed and better managed cities in india and you look at the kind of enormity of the task in front of managing a city like this i think is remarkable as the discussion panel also said that the decentralization of uh, things are, are required so what is your take on that i think that is very clear the 74th amendment was about uh, decentralizing right down at least up to the ward level but that is obviously not worked out we have to examine the reasons uh, not just within government within the political system various political parties etc what exactly is preventing that because there is no doubt in my mind someone who researches urban issues that for uh, the right kind of things to happen for what you need to happen to happen you need uh, thinking that connects different levels as the panel also discussed that what are the solution to 
put a effective governance so that it benefits citizens directly when there are so many different fronts on which things need to be done one key area which maybe we have not uh, at least publicly or in a broader sense not examined adequately is the middle structure between the top leadership and all the way down to the ground level work we have to uh, find a way where the elected representative the corporator is empowered in in significant ways to really for his voice to matter today mumbai first has uh, organized at 75 seeing the governance uh, so what the governance uh, chronicle now talks about we uh, had four or five really prominent people who have been in the government who understood the governance in the panel an animated really discussion on what everybody believes is the right uh, uh, thing to be done in fact there was an interesting presentation by mr pardeshi who spoke about saying how we are actually much much better and mumbai has not done enough pr for itself and we pull down ourselves far more than actually we deserve and that we are better than many of the country, uh, cities and countries in the world we had a c- counterpoint of view where there was is the 74th amendment which has been put out since the last 15 years or more and that is yet not implemented in the way it should be implemented and we yet have but i think what we hope to do as a citizen body as people who are really interested is to make mumbai a place where we are proud to live in where we are proud to work in you know it keeps growing and it's been growing at a really at a enormous pace we yet want to ensure that it retains a lot of its art heritage culture dekhte rahiye the true heart for the people by the people